Then, one more here that I'm going to solve in two different ways. Okay, and um, over here, I was always gathering my x term on this side, and if x was on this side, I got rid of it, right? x term, either x or negative 3x or whatever. But I could do it just the other way around too. I could get rid of this x on this side and just gather my x's on this side. So I'm going to do it both ways with this equation, so you can see the difference. First of all, if I'm just going to leave negative x here, if I'm going to get rid of this 8x, then I have to subtract 8x from both sides. And then that leaves 6, and then here's minus x, minus 8x, so minus 9x. And then here is just 9 alone now. Next step is to get rid of the 6, so I subtract 6. And that leaves negative 9x. And here 9 minus 6 is 3. And lastly, I divide by negative 9. So I get x equals 3 over negative 9, which is a negative fraction, and then 3 ninths simplifies into 1 third. Now let's do it the other way around. Instead of subtracting 8x, I will add x to both sides, because then this minus x will disappear. I will add x to both sides. And so this minus x disappears and I am left with 6 alone, but here I get 9x. And now, since my x term is on the right side, I want to get rid of this plus 9 from this side. So I subtract 9 from both sides. So 6 minus 9 would be negative 3, and then I have 9x over here. Compare it to what we had here. Almost the same, just the negative is on the other side. And then, let me flip it now, maybe it's easier for you. 9x equals negative 3. And then at this step, divide by 9. Both sides divide by 9, so we get x equals negative 3 over 9, which is of course the same, negative 1 third. Oftentimes, it is easier if you don't have to deal with these negative 9x's, negative terms. So, in this case, it might look easier if you get rid of this negative x, instead of getting rid of the 8x. The choice is always yours, okay? And you can at any time flip the sides too. Let's do one more that is a little bit more complicated, because there are more terms in it. It's not really more complicated, just more terms. And I have x's here and here, and here's an x term too. And look, here's a negative 6x. So maybe I want to get rid of the negative 6x, because that means that I will add 6x, so I will get positive x terms here. Let's add 6x. Okay. So, on this side I will have 8, and that, is get, that gets cancelled, and then plus 2 is here still. Over on this side, I have 3x plus 5 plus 2x plus 6x. I could simplify that a little, right? 3x plus 2x is already 5x, then add 6x, so 11x, and then plus 5. And then, of course, 8 plus 2, I will simplify that too. So I get 10 here, 11x plus 5. And now I want to isolate x on this side. I want to have that term with x alone. So I get rid of the plus 5, okay? Subtract 5 at this stage. Leaves 11x here and 5 here. And lastly, we divide again by 11. And we get x equals 5 over 11, the fraction. Lastly, we do one word problem. John and Matt shared a pay of $500. So that John got three times as much as Matt. Find their shares. And I'm going to start out by drawing a bar diagram for you. Okay? Let's say that John gets something and Matt gets something. John gets three times as much as Matt. So let's say Matt gets this much. And John would get, you know, three blocks, so to speak. Okay? And in total, all of this is 500. Now my block here is my unknown that I will use when writing an equation. I will call this x. 
And I'm sure you can solve this now without writing your equation after you see this, okay? But let's write the equation too. That's x, x, x and x all total make together 500. So we have four x's, right? Four of those blocks makes 500 or four x's makes 500. So this is my equation. It's pretty simple actually. And to solve it, I just divide both sides by 4. So I get x equals $500 divided by 4. If it was $400, then that would be easily easy to divide. But I can still divide this easily, mentally, because 500 is the same as 400 plus 100. And both of those are divisible by 4 easily. So 400 divided by 4 is 100. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. So it's $125. But my problem is not asking for x. It's not asking find x, right? It's asking find their shares. Period missing. Okay. And x is happens to be how much Matt gets. Matt gets 125. John gets three times as much, or 375. Okay, we're all done with this, and I hope it was helpful.